Welcome back. This is Lesson 36, and we'll be doing another practice exercise. Let's insert a sketch on the top plane. Now the line tool. I'm going to create a triangle. Right-click and select to close the tool. I'm going to window select all three lines and apply an equal relation. Now let's apply a dimension, 100 millimeters, and accept. And let's right-click and select to close the dimension tool. Now let's apply a sketch fillet. Activate the fillet command. A 10 millimeter radius is OK. Let's check Keep Constrained Corners, otherwise the sketch will become underdefined when the fillet is applied. Select this corner. SolidWorks tells me that some of the geometry may have to move to satisfy the equal relation when the fillet's created. Do we want to continue? Yes. Let's select a second corner. Same prompt, yes. Corner 3, and again, yes. Let's accept our sketch fillet. Now let's insert some lines. Activate the Line tool. We'll place the line between the center of the fillet arc and the triangle vertex. Same at this corner. Right-click and chain. And just a vertical line at the top, originating at the center point of the arc. Right-click and select to close the line tool. Let's apply some smart dimensions now. It actually doesn't matter how long the lines are, as long as they cross the edge of the triangle. Right-click and select to close the tool. Now let's activate the Offset Entities tool. The distance of the offset, 5 millimeters. Bidirectional is checked, as well as add dimensions. Let's select the first line. Cap ends is also checked using the arc method. And let's accept. Select the second line and accept with the same settings. And line number three. Let's accept and let's cancel out of the tool. We do have sketch relations present, but I did hide them because it just makes the graphic area too busy. There's just so many of them now. Let's hide them again. Now let's activate the Trim Entities tool. We don't have to trim our sketch. We can simply use contours to create the extrusion, but for the purposes of practicing trimming, I'm going to do it this way. Let's just trim a few lines here. Just a few more lines to trim. Of course, we're going to leave the construction lines in place, otherwise the sketch will become underdefined. See what happens when I trim this line here? Now these entities are underdefined. Let's undo that. Next, we need to locate the center of this triangle. I'm going to use a perimeter circle to do that. Let's select the first line, the second line, and now we've got the option to create an inscribed circle that is inside the triangle or circumscribe that is outside. Of course, we need to inscribe this circle. Let's create a second circle now. Concentric to this one. Dimensioned with a 40 millimeter diameter. OK, and let's close the tool with a right click select. Let's convert the first circle to construction geometry. Our sketch is now in black line and fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Activate the extruded boss base command. Activate the selected contours area and select. Depth will make 5 millimeters. Let's accept. A second extrusion now, extruded boss base command. Let's use the same sketch. Sketch 1. Expand selected contours. And now let's drag the handle in the graphic area up to 30 millimeters. OK, let's input here in the value field. Accept. Next, I'm going to use the shell tool. The wall thickness, let's make 5 millimeters. Check show preview. There it is. Faces to remove. Let's make our selections now. And accept. Let's apply a chamfer now. The distance will be one millimeter. Let's select this face. The angle will be 45 degrees. And accept. Let's apply some fillets now. Our radius will be one millimeter. 
And now I'm going to select a number of edges. As well as this face. This face. Uncheck Tangent Propagation. And this face here. There we go. And these two edges here. Let's apply. And let's cancel out of the fillet expert. Here is our completed part. And this concludes exercise 36. We'll see you in our next lesson.